Yeah. Set up. Hey, listen. You should know, you should know. I just got to get something out my chest, man. With all of my soul swaps, if the toe cap has threading on it, I make sure I remove it before I start the project. Too hard. I get all emotional. I get territorial. Recalling all the times that I was pessimistic, yeah. Niggas hit your line, but at times I ain't even care. Yo, before y'all start hating, start pressing that thumbs down, let me explain something here. Water does not destroy shoes. I we're doing mid sole swap on these, so it doesn't matter. What I'm trying to do is loosen up the internal adhesive, so I can get that mid sole out in one piece. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to like use hell acetone, use hella com balls to scrape it all off. And you know what? I've been doing this with all of my swaps, uh, depending on the shoe, depending on the material. Everything I do is precise. For the Black Cement 3s, I make sure the water temperature does not exceed 140 degrees. Any more than that, especially 180 degrees, you're risking the uppers to shrink. Therefore, they won't fit on the rubber sole. They're not going to fit properly on the donor midsole. So for the donor midsole, it doesn't really matter what temperature I set them at. As long as I don't boil the air unit, which will expand under high heat. As long as it's only in the internal of the shoe, which has contact with adhesive, it's fine. Make sure to do proper research before attempting anything.
I take it's just an extra step that I normally take when prepping the uppers for a midsole swap. Um, I use a Dremel tool to make sure I get every little bit of factory adhesive just so I know it's quickly clean. Now that is all said and done, it's time to apply. Yeah. Yeah. I be on the low key Illuminati. I be having OG flowing through my body. We on the low scale. The vibe is heavy, I can feel it through my body, yeah Lately I've been feeling like no one can stop me Alright, sweet, the shoes are looking good All we gotta do now is apply adhesive to our back tabs And to the back panel of the shoe Let it cure Use a heat gun And then clamp them together The bottom we ain't used to pop I don't really like a lot of niggas rap they used to down me, but the top is where they found me They used to doubt me, now they can't talk rap without me They wanna see me fail, but they can't seem to stop me Cause we be on the low, we move like Illuminati These niggas mad at me, I live in life, they dream We talking millions So 
now the back tabs are locked in place. We have to re-glue that elephant bring back to the back tabs and back to the uppers. So while I am waiting for the adhesive to cure, I'm laying it close to a heater so it'll be more tackier. It's finally that time to apply our uppers to our midsole. So like I've said before, we laid our adhesive down on the midsole, let it cure for a couple of hours, and now we're heating it up to make it tacky again. This is the best method in regluing midsoles and regluing anything since this is actually what the factories do themselves. Money make them say I change. Yeah. I ain't never play no games. Yeah. Illuminati on my brain. Yeah. I swear to God, we're not the yeah. same. Yeah. I be on the low key, Illuminati. Yeah. The last and final step is to restitch the toe cap. The vibe is heavy, I can feel it through my body. Yeah. Lately, I've been feeling like no one can stop me. They say I'm cocky, but I'm low Illuminati. The ladies only she can feel it in the pot. We be on the low key Illuminati. I be on the low key Illuminati. I be having OG flowing through my body. All right, let's go. What's up, y'all? Hope you guys liked that video. The shoes weren't even that messed up to begin with. My boy just wanted them to be sure that they're wearable. Shout out to my boy Dunks are nice for letting me use his equipment, his tripods, his other camera. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. If y'all decide to press that dislike button, tell me why. I would like to know. 
unless you're just a secret hater, jealous of other people. I love, I love criticism. Why else, why would I be here? You know what I mean? Like, I'm here for a reason. I'm here because I've listened to people and it improves my craft. So if you don't say it, if you don't tell me what's wrong, how can I improve? You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys enjoyed the last bit of the restoration video. It was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't really make a full restoration video on the Fighter Ray 3s. Alright, I don't know what else to say. We out! How many pounds that is already? That's fucking five pounds. Damn, So that's I, shit. in Japan and everything I'm recording has been that. And people are like, oh, your videos are too shaky. I'm like, fuck you, dude. That's just like fucking five pounds. I what, can't fucking... It's like, what the fuck do you think? I'm like, this is a vlog. This is not like... This is just for me to be happy. So like, that's why I said like when people are like... Not like 